Hey everybody, Lance Koike here. Today we're discussing kind of like the cousin of the flexed arm hang that we went over yesterday. This is uh, where I jump on up and then I lower down halfway. That's the flexed arm hang. Today what I want to discuss is holding yourself at the top of the movement. So I mentioned in the previous video that we don't really... Uh, you know, I don't really program this quite as much, but when would I program it? Well, if you're having trouble getting yourself up into the right position at the top, then I need you to sit there so you can kind of figure it out. And so I can give you some cues and you can think about them, right? It gives you more time to fix what's going on. You can't just always expect to just keep Bump, bumping out reps and then all of a sudden you're going to be able to figure out what is going on. Sometimes it happens, but not very often. Okay. Uh, so I jump on up and I hold myself up here at the top. Generally now, if I'm messing up at the top, I filmed a whole video about messing up at the top, but if I'm messing up, spoiler alert, I'm kind of like crunching over and bringing my shoulders forward. And I don't want that, right? I'm shutting off the muscles that are in my upper back, which I need to stabilize my shoulders throughout this entire movement. So instead, if I'm holding there at the top, what I need to try to do is pull my shoulder blades back closer together so that I can feel more of that upper back stuff. And that, if I'm really having trouble with that, this holding at the top is a great isometric exercise for you to try.